Hi, this is Jeff Chubb with Chubb Realty, and I wanted to thank you in advance for watching my video blog. Today, we're going to be talking about the home buying process and why now is such a great time to buy. I read a pretty amazing statistic the other day. Did you know that the average net worth of a homeowner is 36 times greater than the average net worth of a renter. And it's expected that that gap is gonna further increase to 45 times greater in 2016. Now look, there are a lot of reasons for this, but simply put, home ownership is a way of forced savings. If you own your home, next time you go and pay your mortgage payment, just think to yourself, you're just contributing to your net worth. And unfortunately, if you're currently, currently renting your property, Sadly, it might be a little painful to think that you're actually contributing to your landlord's net worth. Meanwhile, it was just reported that rent skyrocketed this year. Year over year, rents are up 3.8%, which is the largest rent increase since 2007. Buying a home offers you a form of stability. When you buy a home and get a fixed mortgage, then there's comfort year after year, knowing your mortgage payment's not going to increase. All the while, you're building your own net worth, paying down your mortgage and the market appreciating. With interest rates at near historical lows, this is the time to buy a house, if you haven't already done so. Are you thinking your credit score may be too low? Or maybe that you don't have enough of a down payment? Consider this. On average, in 2015, the average credit score was 686 for an FHA loan. Now that means a lot of people had higher credit scores and other people had lower credit scores. But also consider the average home buyer, so that's first time home buyers, move up buyers, or buyers that are actually downsizing, put 10% down with the average first time home buyer putting 6% down. The thinking that you need 20% down in order to buy a home just is not true. Real estate markets are local, so local that market conditions in a neighborhood of South Boston to Back Bay can differ greatly, and they're just a mile apart. Now consider towns like Andover, down to Plymouth, out to Framingham, each different market has their own different market strengths and based on different price ranges. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home, then it would be a true pleasure to have the opportunity to sit down and talk with you about your real estate goals and how working together we can accomplish them. Should you have any questions or a suggestion on a video topic, then please feel free to email me, call me, or click one of the links below my video blog. Thanks for watching and until next time.